It's my great honor to welcome Purnala Lakshmiya Garu here on Sakshi TV US on his visit to the Bay Area Santa Clara. Welcome to Sakshi TV US, sir. Oh, thank you very much, and uh, I consider it is a privilege for me uh, to be, you know, with the people through your media. You are always people's person. You always, when in your interviews or in your journey of a political career, you are always people's person. So, what inspires you to be always uh, very popular among people? No, the point is uh, politics. Why anyone should be in politics? It's for the people. It's for the area. It's for the concerns of the people to be solved and uh, development, welfare, and overall, uh, you know, uh, development of the uh, area. So, unless you are convinced, unless you are concerned, there is no need to be in politics. So that's what I feel. So, yeah, after working for almost uh, nine years in NASA here in USA, having come from a background which I describe in one sentence from cattle shed to capital city via Washington DC aerospace. So that's my background. So I've decided to be with the people having faced many difficulties in my life, uh, social, economical and uh, other things. So that kind of thing should not happen to anyone. Given the opportunity, people can excel. So, the opportunities must be given uh, by the government under the circumstances. So, everyone should come up in life, their uh, living standards to go up. Hmm? So, that is the whole idea of being in politics, turning the, you know, um, history and uh, also the human angle. Uh, that's where the people's problems are uh, solved. So, what inspired you to, you know, travel from United States to India, especially after being in NASA? And the other thing is that India nunchi pedda American dream pet koni America kustar gada. Mir America lo undi, America lo NASA lo undi. And the a level of prestigious organization lo undi. Malli India kelly service of the people, service for the people, for my country. Ane attitude thoni malli ellyaru. So, can you describe little bit about your journey? from America to India and serving people. The idea is, uh, as I said, from cattle shed to capital city via Washington DC aerospace. That explains my background in a way, social and economical. So, coming to USA is a dream right from childhood for the simple reason the society must, uh, if not respecting, recognize and give due share for me. So, socially, economically. So, for socially, uh, it is very difficult. Economically, it is possible. The government of India, under the leadership of Congress government, like M.C. Chakla and uh, uh, Nehruji, so they gave me the opportunity of scholarships for poor people uh, who excel in studies. That's how I studied uh, my engineering in Hyderabad, India. After that, uh, I wanted to come to USA so that uh, people should recognize me. People should, uh, uh, I don't say respect, but also consider me as a human being, equal to uh, anyone else. So, for that, in Telugu, I say, Vidya Vittam, the education and uh, capital. Irundu, Vidya Vittam, like Pote, Manasin Gurthin Chavakash from Deshalo Ledu. Vidya Vittam Kavali Ante, Vidya Mancha Chadi Kavali, Paikir Kavali. Andro Khrushchev, Mari Vidya Vachintra, the Vidya Metla goes to the double study. Inka double bala dampa in Jail and Manchu period is called a Manchi study school, Arozulu, Prena, America and the Shal Kosti Inka Bound to the Anni, Oka Patudalto, Sadukuna or Mata. A Patudalto Sadukuni, NASA related activity, aerospace activities low, company to Jail and my products are still being used in the aircraft even today. Commercial aircraft, um, passenger aircraft. So, whatever it is. So, after that, uh, I realized doing work for myself, for myself. But uh, the way I could come up, there must be many people who deserve to be, uh, you know, given impetus. See, yeah, many people, I mean, from the childhood, uh, you know, growing in smaller villages in India will have uh, a big American dream. So, Atlanta Valak encouraged Chaitan Kimiro Mathematics Awards could launch his arrow. So, can you talk more about your, what initiated you to start and encourage such kind of awards and what kind of uh, 
students are given such awards and how the aspiring indian students can apply for those awards given the opportunity the place of birth the family background is not the criteria for anyone to excel so the hard work and the commitment so for those committed people those who want to you know come up they must give given infrastructure or otherwise assistance in that direction government of india helped me gave me opportunity i could come up so keeping that in view for example when i was trying to come to usa uh, nizam trust fund scholarship has given me uh, and then uh, the i was the second person from the state of andhra pradesh to avail uh, educational uh, loan from a commercial bank so if that is the case why not i help some people so i still help some people to come to higher studies and also mathematics is the root cause of uh, the universal uh, development or uh, the history behind it so um, not only that mathematics for example uh, india and especially telugu people were uh, you know excelling in that uh, field that's why the american uh, in america america they need about something like uh, uh, 1.5 million uh, you know mathematical professionals in the next 25 years or so mathematics is uh, supposed to be the you know prime factor to understand the universe and uh, mathematics is the root cause for all uh, developmental activities once uh, the human being has uh, you know come out of his shell uh, to come into the open space in the universe so mathematics is a very key subject in development of uh, this world uh, and uh, human development also so i consider this that's why i took mathematics as a subject in high school and then joined uh, engineering later on uh, now i realize uh, i must uh, see that uh, this is uh, recognized in the world there are only three countries america canada and india in india i started this uh, mathematics of the year award uh, on the birth anniversary of uh, uh, sir ramanujan um, great uh, mathematician so last 7 uh, years we have been doing it for last 2 years because of corona we are not able to do it so in addition to that uh, i am trying to help uh, the deserving people to study abroad and also some social activities uh, with uh, my foundation punala foundation so whatever i was doing this is what i have been doing so you were part of a journey uh, before the both the two telugu states bifurcated and divided so political journey as a combined state and political journey after the state has bifurcated so what do you think about it telangana has a special history and uh, it has something you know unique in its uh, uh, overall geographical cultural and language wise also so we were under nizam rule uh, earlier uh, the point is uh, the uh, uh, dream even before 1956 uh, people were asking for separate telangana but uh, andhra people said vishal andhra so anyway 1956 it was merged uh, then the agitation started in 1969 as a young boy in uh, middle school uh, before 56 Uh, the demand was uh, you know andhra go back nan mulki go back type of such uh, agitation was there we used to some people uh, elderly to us uh, used to ring the bell in the school so that we used to come out and go in the you know uh, village uh, saying that uh, uh, vishal andhra no good we wanted telangana special telangana so that kind of uh, origin is there six decades of uh, uh, the demand of the people of telangana so uh, the the then governments try to assure telangana people with some guarantees uh, six point formula and uh, other things and other things but still uh, uh, in spite of hesitations in spite of uh, this thing the assurances were not implemented total uh, people thought that uh, you know we should have a separate state as a matter of fact uh, in uh, 2000 uh, i was uh, i along with 42 mlas i signed first for separate telangana and then the other 41 mlas signed we gave that uh, the second signature was mr g sinaradi so we also uh, presented uh, you know took uh, professor jay shankar uh, before the uh, uh, government of uh, congress committee uh, 
uh, to represent why Telangana is needed. So the issues were uh, many. For example, injustices in promotions, employment, and also developmental wise, and then the river water, all all kinds of things were there. Telugu level, and then the Nilu, Nidulu, Niyamakalu, water. Uh, you know, um, uh, for the use of Telangana area uh, is neglected, and then uh, uh, Nidulu finances. Most of the money is not spent here for some somewhere else, and then Niyamakalu employment opportunities that was uh, overlooked or uh, somehow you know uh, it's overlooked, not overlooked uh, accidentally, but uh, intentionally they say. So these these are the factors which uh, you know. Um, Feel the uh, agitation for separate Telangana. So then, uh, uh, at that time, the demand was put before Sonia Gandhi. Ji. Finally, uh, she has agreed to bifurcate. But in 2004, when the Congress government came in the state of Andhra Pradesh, via with Vyas Rajshekhar as chief minister, so he has taken me into the cabinet, and uh, I was given the uh, portfolio of uh, irrigation. So that's where, for the first time in the world. First time in the country, uh, we have taken up 86 irrigation projects, both um, Andhra and Telangana. In Telangana, about 33 projects. So the idea was to see that uh, the river water disputes sh should not arise uh, because of non-utilization of the allocated water, either uh, assured or uh, flood waters. So by 2005, we have to do it. So we did it. Whereas the previous governments uh, in Andhra and Telangana, they laid foundations, but they have never executed the projects. We have taken up total water availability of Godavari and Krishna. Uh, uh, see that uh, Telangana. The reason why irrigation, agriculture, people dependent on agriculture is almost 65 to 70 percent. So, what is uh, required for agriculture? Water. So, the dispute should not deny. The delay should not, uh, uh, you know, for this generation. So that's why Government Rai Shikriti and myself, our cabinet, have decided to take up uh, Jalayagyam. So people termed it as something else, but history will prove what we have done, and history will also compare with what uh, the present government is doing. Every government, I mean, in every state, if you see people talk about uh, they want to do something for the farmers, for the benefit of the farmers, they 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 plan to do it for the farmers, and they use farmers maybe for the election votes. So, but you have been seeing like you know, it's an international news when you see here in the being in the foreign land, people will be saying like you know, the farmers are dying, your farmers are dying, and. Uh, everything is like against farmers. When you talk to a normal farmer, he says that you know, no, I, this these laws are not for me. Whatever the government says, it's not benefiting me. So this farmers ag agitation has grown international, and it has got a bad remark on the Indian government and especially the present government. What do you think about it? Majority of the people are dependent on particular, uh, you know, area that, like agriculture. It must be given due share. What is development? The development of majority people is the development, not vested interests, not few capitalists. So, uh, in this connection, uh, Congress government basically uh, has done so much for the farming sector uh, over a period of time. For example, in the 60s and 70s, uh, Mrs. Gandhi, the, the Green Revolution. I'll tell you, in the 1900 and up, above, there are three revolutions. One is the uh, Red Revolution, massacre of people in Russia, and uh, White Revolution, uh, Iran's uh, Shah, uh, whatever that was. Uh, so it is a massacre of uh, hundreds of thousands of people. Whereas in Green Revolution in India after independence, uh, it's uh, a development. So we have produced, for example, in 1947 to 5051, our population was about 37 crores and we were not able to produce enough food grains uh, for the people. There are lakhs of people who died of uh, uh, starvation in West Bengal, as you know. So from that state, we have uh, trying to produce more and also uh, increase the you know, incomes of uh, farmers. That's where the Green Revolution came. So now what is happening is, for example, in uh, uh, 2004, uh, the um, support price for paddy was only 560. By 2014, we could make it up to uh, 
1560 that is almost like 1000 rupees more it's not big but at the same time the input costs were reduced by the government in such a way that the for loans uh, at a lesser interest by the state government and uh, subsidies from government of india and also uh, losses incurred by the farmers for uh, you know recoup- uh, for recuperating uh, we paid uh, crop losses also whether the natural or uh, uh, because of uh, you know drought uh, all these situations were met the subsidies were given for seed as well as uh, equipment that is required for agriculture so we have taken up uh, uh, agriculture as a means to develop Uh, the majority of the people's living standards so that is the goal of congress whereas now for example modi said uh, by 2022 the farmers income uh, will make sure that it is doubled where are we and what is the support price of uh, paddy now from 8 years back it was 1560 and today is only 1960 even that 1960 is not being given to you know people other pro- um, uh, agriculture products also is the same thing so the, the suicides are more uh, farmer suicides why uh, because they are not getting the benefit uh, of what uh, they are working for the produce is not being sold and the uh, natural calamities are not being you know t- taken up by the government so that uh, you know that, that's why they are losing and uh, they are committing suicides so to prevent that uh, we have uh, always been uh, you know with the farming community so congress is with the farmers congress is for the farmers the farmers means country majority of the people so that is the concept with which congress has been working as a matter of fact we declared in warangal a farmers declaration the support prices and the difficulties of uh, uh, landless poor and also the lease farmers and also the government uh, you know ksr's government introducing dharani with a lot of uh, ulterior motives behind it and the government of india with the three uh, black loss farming losses which were they have they were forced to take it back so uh, in the process many people were killed many farmers uh, lost their lives so that's what's happening so it is not for uh, slogans assurances and hopes uh, these are the three things with which the uh, modi and ksr are working but it is not going to work forever uh, you can uh, see the saying is you can fool someone for some time you can feel someone uh, for all the time but you cannot fool all the people for all the time that's what uh, you know uh, the history or uh, sayings uh, goes to come to power to retain the power the today's uh, political scenario modi or ksr they are adopting this but uh, there is a time that will end but in history we have seen ravana is there rama is there everyone has his own history people know who is good who is bad pandavas are there and kauravas are there so it happens it happens we as congress uh, were responsible for what india today in 1947 it was a bullock cart economy today it is the third largest economic power uh, in the world after uh, you know america and china so we surpassed a country like britain uh, on whose uh, empire sun never set uh, as a matter of fact french uh, industrial revolution germany the industrial manufacturing activity so all that we uh, o- overcame and overpassed and today india is in the third place for example in the technology also so i as a, uh, a primary school student we didn't have in the villages kerosene kerosene lamps were not there kerosene was not there we had to pramidas of uh, you know, cast oil we were using so from that stage to till today you are chandrayaan and mangalayaan so it's a vast uh, difference we overcame uh, on many de- difficulties and uh, today in spite of 140 crore people we are producing enough and we are giving the lowest prices uh, food grains in the world uh, to 80 crore people in india under food security act this is all what congress could do in you know 50 years of its own rule we have seen many other governments but uh, they could not sustain people will also uh, sometimes uh, uh, expect more other parties have come to power but they could not retain that power forever uh, like congress because we are with the people we are for the country and we did uh, what is supposed to be done uh, uh, for the development to face the world and also to increase the living standards
so there is a news that you know kcr is going to form a national party so he is taking uh, telangana i guess nationally what do you think about it by forming a party taking telangana to national level no it is the selfish motive selfish interest whatever it is but one thing he always uh, you know uh, diverts the attention of the people so what he was in third front and uh, it was not possible uh, then he, he said uh, for example in paddy cultivation uh, buying paddy and uh, farmers this thing again is blaming government of india so he keeps on changing uh, his views and this thing for example uh, why does he want to float a party to divert the attention to uh, from the misery and uh, problems faced by the people okay has he ever done what he said for example in 2014 he said many things dalit ji huh three acres double bedroom 12% reservation has he done it then what is he going to do with the new party what happened to the third front he, he has not been recognized for example he is a chief minister for right, right now he is chief minister telangana has about 17 parliament seats and he got only 9 seats in india it's 544 or you know around that 543 544 seats how can a person with 9 seats huh, uh, can uh, dictate Uh, such a huge number of uh, parliament seat people you know other states for example there are sharad pawar and uh, uh, there are chief ministers for uh, 10 years 15 years huh? how how can he dominate them it's very difficult not only that he is only trying to fool the people right now with the vast money that uh, uh, he uh, you know made uh, looted uh, telangana so he wants to be some national figure just by you know spending money so by spending money uh, one cannot become so it's a dream uh, it's a uh, uh, diverting the attention of the people from the present circumstances so he is a good uh, you know dramatist that's what uh, i can say that i don't think uh, it will work at all in india uh, this kind of person trying to float a party people like uh, you know jay prakash narayan with good intentions started but they are not able to maintain it oh who is he where has he come from what is his background has he done his own village development in 45 years of his public life has he done anything before becoming cm uh, anything after becoming cm what he has he done he has become the greatest engineer of the you know irrigation engineer of the world he has become the greatest doctor huh? in in the open assembly he says no mask is required so telangana government has formed a policy wherein you know ammayili ki penli cheskunte 1 lakh rupees istamo or whatever istamo ani penli chepistunaru kani telangana lo meer chustune unnaru in past few years india lo mottham india lo kuda national news ayindi international news kuda ayindi so many rape cases are increasing in uh, telangana and many of them are not even uh, brought to the limelight due to whatever reasons so ipo recently kuda oka మైనర్ రేప్ కేసు ఉంది సో ద సేఫ్టీ ఆఫ్ ద ఉమెన్ అంటే అక్కడ అంత ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ ఉంది తెలంగాణలో సో మెనీ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ కంపెనీస్ ఉన్నాయి కాల్ సెంటర్స్ నడుస్తున్నాయి నైట్ షిఫ్ట్స్ జాబ్స్ నడుస్తున్నాయి ఉమెన్ ఇన్ తెలంగాణ డోంట్ ఫీల్ స్టిల్ సో సేఫ్ సో ద సేఫ్టీ ఇస్ బీన్ అ మేజర్ ఇష్యూ ఇన్ తెలంగాణ స్టేట్ అది కాకుండా డ్రగ్ కల్చర్ సో డ్రగ్ కల్చర్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ వెరీ వ్యాస్ట్ ఇన్ తెలంగాణ సో దేర్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఆర్ నో ఐ మీన్ డ్రగ్ పార్టీస్ నడుస్తున్నాయి డ్రగ్ రేట్స్ చేస్తున్నారు కానీ దాని తర్వాత నెక్స్ట్ ఏంటి ఓన్లీ రిపోర్టింగ్ అవుతుంది దాని తర్వాత ఏం జరుగుతుంది దాని గురించి ఏమి ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ లేదు చాలా సార్లు అయితే ఆ పేర్లు కూడా లైమ్ లైట్ లో వస్తలేవు సో అబౌట్ ద వాట్ యూ కాల్ ఓన్లీ విక్టిమ్ పేర్స్ ని వేస్తున్నారు బట్ ద పీపుల్ హూ ఆర్ కమిటింగ్ ద క్రైమ్స్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ బీన్ హైలైటెడ్ ఎనీవేర్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ బీన్ సేవ్డ్ అండ్ సేఫ్ గార్డెడ్ what do you think about it oh, it's a failure of the government basically uh, the reason is the pubs the licenses and the number of them they were granted after this government uh, after it has come and then the minors were allowed and the drugs were freely available drugs transported and there is no you know proper uh, checking proper uh, supervision proper control proper uh, uh, authorities they, they are not doing their job so the government is uh, ineffective the government is uh, you know uh, uh, all this is eye wash 
so there are no reviews no fear of uh, law as a matter of fact in the state uh, that's why you know it's uh, uh, happening and many rape cases how can it happen if the government is formed and trying to control uh, then it doesn't happen uh, it's basically the failure of the government their attention is not there they are not reviewing it they are not uh, uh, focusing um, the governance on such matters at all as a matter of fact most of the departments not only police but most of the departments are like this there are no proper reviews no corrections no uh, solutions and no uh, ante uh, they are not taking any uh, opinions of others and they are blindfolded so uh, in the guise of democracy they could come to power but uh, they have become dictators what i say is right and wh what i do is right uh, this is very bad and people will teach a lesson it is not going to be forever so there is a time for everything uh, unfortunately uh, uh, now 8 years so uh, the time has come for them to uh, you know go back to their places and uh, if congress comes uh, we will not keep quiet all these looters all these uh, uh, dictatorial actions and uh, people uh, you know the policies that have been uh, implemented uh, will definitely uh, bring back uh, they, they will be put in jail and the telugu anta ksr shesh jitam chellabali jail lo ne endukante he had three cases before becoming cm in 2014 as pcc president i said that in uh, april 14th 2014 as a matter of fact ed cases passport cases and sahara case was pending after that uh, uh, the other cases have come up even prime minister as prime minister uh, he comes to hyderabad and talks about the corruption of ksr what does it mean so young indians they are thinking that they can become prime minister modi or like prime minister modi and be a successful politicians ante chadukoni doctors aipothar engineers aipothar ala chadukokunda prime minister aipovochu ledante edana minister aipovochu ani anukuntunnaru so what do you think about it see anybody can become anything is a free country a democratic country but uh, uh, the area in which one wants to you know get into uh, you should know what he wants to do. right as a senior member of the party are you still advising uh, the younger upcoming ministers and is the party taking the seniority into consideration no it's a mix of everything is required mix of everything is required younger young is required uh, the elderly people with all vast experience uh, we should use uh, you know uh, uh, all these things uh, it's not just this or that so is a combination like the population from 18 to whatever age so we need to utilize everybody in services so a mix of everything is required for the betterment for uh, good governance and uh, uh, established uh, you know practices that uh, we have been develop uh, established practices for good governance so that's what is required so don't say that only elders don't say uh, only youngsters it's a mix of everything for example in family we were all can, you know all ages are there but family is family you have to be together so so is the case with the country so you cannot say these people are, only these people are required or the others are not required so it's not that everybody's participation everybody's concern must be taken into so it's for the people it's for the area it's for the country the purpose of your visit to united states uh, uh, can you just explain yeah uh, there are two, three things yeah. one is uh, silicon andhra uh, university has uh, invited me to interact with them and uh, yesterday i met them here i had a long association with uh, uh, silicon andhra um, uh, activities as a matter of fact we were the first people uh, in telugu uh, to give these funds for digitization uh, there are a lot of other things the second thing is my grandson vivek Uh, graduated today uh, from Santa Clara University. I wanted to witness, uh, pre be present at this moment. And then tomorrow there is a wedding in our family, close family. So all the people who are residing here in US, we will be able to meet. And the fourth thing is uh, there is a, a invitation for me from Persipani area, where the mayor and the local people uh, and together uh, we are working on something, and that uh, meeting is scheduled on 26th. Uh, so these are the four reasons which for which i came
So this is Ruchika Sharma in conversation with Palala Lakshmiya Garu here in Bay Area all the way from California for Sakshi TV US.